The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to add a table of contents. The first thing that I'm going to do is click on the References tab, and I'm going to look in the Table of Contents section. Here you'll see there is a Table of Contents command. You'll click on the drop-down arrow, and generally what I do is select one of the three that I'm looking at here. I'm going to select the Table of Contents area. I will accept the default information here. What you'll notice is there's no Table of Contents, and in the bottom of the left side of the page, it's page one of one. What I'm going to do is make sure my cursor is at the very end of the table of contents. I'm going to go ahead and add in the next page. To do so, I'm going to click on the Layout tab. Here, I'm going to look in the Page Setup group. Now, I'm going to look in the Breaks Command section and click on the drop-down arrow. The best way to do this is to make sure that you click on the next page so that you can add in a section break and start a clean new section. What you'll notice is that the next page has popped up. Now I have the opportunity to add in some content. I'm going to start this off by just adding in a few page headings and you need those so that that information is reflected in this section. For example, if I decided that I wanted to start off with an introduction, I would type that. I would go ahead and select the introduction and I'm going to click on heading one. If I move further down in the document and I'm going to pretend that I'm going to add in another page, then I'm going to go and I'm going to click on layout tab again. Here, I'm going to select the break section now I'm going to add another page by clicking on Next Page. This time, what I want to do is add in another header, and I'm going to just click on the Heading tab for Heading 1, and I'm going to type in Overview, and I'm going to press the Enter key. The next thing I want to do is to update the table of contents so that it reflects what I've already added. I'm going to right-click inside of the table of contents area, here, I'm going to select Update Field, and now I can see that that information is visible inside the document. So, the next thing I want to add, just so that you can see that you can add your tiered levels of heading, is to move further down in the document. Next, I'm just going to click on Heading 2. This time, I'm going to act as if I'm talking about computers in the document. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter a few more times and I'm going to click on heading three and I'm going to type in something like accessories. Further down this time I'm going to add in one more item and this time I'm going to click on heading four and I'm going to put in printer. Now I'm going to go back to the top of the document and now I want to update the table of contents. I'm going to right click Next, I'm going to make sure again that I right click in this area and select update field. It's going to ask me this question. I want to make sure that I update the entire table and I click OK. And now I can see the modifications that I made in the document. Here it only went up so far to the accessories level. It didn't add in the level four for printer but that's just to give you an idea of what you can do in order to add a table of contents. Thanks for watching.